Hello, it's Mr. Thompson here, and I'm going to talk you through uh, quite a common grade C or level 7 topic, uh, which is all about finding the highest common factor uh, and the lowest common multiples of two or more numbers. So let's get started. So in order to understand this topic, we need to first understand three um, very important terms, and that is factor, multiple, and a prime number. Now this should be recap recapping uh, what we already know. So a factor is any number that goes into another number without leaving a remainder. So for example, um, factors of 12, um, all the numbers that go into 12 without being a remainder. So factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And we can multiply some of them together to give us 12. So 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 6 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12. So a factor is a number that goes into another number without leaving a remainder. A multiple is, let's uh, use the example of 12 again, a multiple is any, a multiple of 12 is any number in the 12 times table. So that could be 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. All those numbers are in the 12 times table. And you'll notice that if, um, 12 is both a factor and a multiple of 12 as well. And then finally, the prime number. A prime number is a n it's, um, any number that has exactly two different factors. So, for example, 2 is the first prime number because it has factors of 1 and 2. It has exactly two different factors. A common mistake that people make is thinking that 1 is a prime number. 1 is not a prime number because we can only get 1 by multiplying 1 times 1 and those, those two factors are not different. Okay, so as soon as we're happy with these three terms, we can move on. Okay, um, so in order, before we come on to highest common factors and lowest common multiples, we need to be able to uh, write numbers as a product of its prime factors, and we do this by using a factor tree. Now remember, product is, uh, it just means we're multiplying two, number, two or more numbers together. Um, so we're trying to find the, fa the prime factors of 12, all the factors that are prime numbers. And to do that, we start by writing, you'll get a question like this, uh, write 12 as a product of its prime factor. So I'm going to write 12 right at the top. And then we're going to do what we call a factor tree. So we need to break it down into two numbers that we that multiply, two factors that multiply together to give us 12. And it doesn't matter what these are. So I'm going to start with 2 and 6. 2 times 6 gives me 12. Now, it doesn't matter. I could have done um, 3 and 4. Um, it doesn't matter. You will still eventually get the same answer. And what we're going to do is every time we see um, a prime number come out as one of these factors, uh, we're going to circle it. So 2 is a prime number, so we can circle that one. 6 is not a prime number over here, so we carry on as we did before. We then think of two number, two factors of 6, any numbers we like. So 2 and 3. And we keep the process going. Remember to circle any number every time um, it is a prime number and that branch sort of comes to an end so notice we stopped at the 2 and the 2 and the 3 here are also both prime numbers so we can write um, that means 2 times 2 times 3 will give me 12 and each of these are prime numbers so I'm going to write it out like this so as a product of its prime factors 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 and now I suggest you write it out first like this and then you all, you can see that 2 times 2 is actually 2 squared times 3. Now, I suggest you write it out in full like this, and then if you can simplify any of the powers, you do that underneath as well. Um, and I'll explain, it will become apparent hopefully in a minute, but make sure you can uh, write um, 12 as a product of prime factors like this. Okay, we'll do one more example and then we'll use that to move on to um, highest common factors and lowest common multiples. So this time our question is uh, asking us to write 18 as a product of its prime factors. So as before, I'm just going to start by writing 18 at the top. And then I'm going to do two branches of my factor tree. Um, any two numbers you can think of, uh, two factors that go into 18. So 2 and 9 I'm going to start with. 2 is a prime number, so we circle that one and that branch comes to an end. Um, our 9 is not a prime number, so that means we need to carry on. So, uh, two numbers that multiply together to give us 9, 3, and 3, both of which are prime. So our factor tree has come to an end because all of our branches have been finished. 
So we can write 18 as a product of its prime factors by writing it as 2 times 3 times 3, remembering to write it out in full first, and then underneath that I'm going to write it as 2 times 3 squared. Okay. Now what we can do is we can use um, what we've done here to go on to the next step, which is finding out the highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So let's have a look. Okay, so now you'll get a question um, that says something along the lines of this. Find the highest common factor, HCF, and lowest common multiple of 12 and 18. Now notice these are the two numbers that we've just um, done the prime factor trees for. Um, so we've expressed, I've started by um, copying out this, I've expressed, sorry, expressed 12 as a product of its prime factors, 2 times 2 times 3, and 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. Now to do the next bit, what we're going to do is we're going to do what we call a Venn diagram. And a Venn diagram is relatively straightforward. We're going to do, do two big circles, and those two circles have to overlap at some point. Okay, <clears throat> one of these circles is going to represent our 12. So I'm going to put my 12 there. And one of these circles is going to represent my 18, the two numbers we're trying to find the highest common factors and lowest common multiples of. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look through um, the long list of factors I've done for each one. And we're going to see if there are any that appear in both. So you can see here that I've got my 2 here and I've got my 2 here, so I'm going to cross them out. Now, although we've crossed it out twice, these th that factor, that prime factor, is common to both of them. So that's going to go in the middle, in the overlap. But we're only going to write it once. Even though we've crossed it out twice, uh, we're only going to write it once. Now we look and see, is that, are, are there any other um, prime factors that are common to both of them? We can see that we have, there. there's a 2 in um, in the list here of 12, uh, there's no other two that we haven't already used um, in the list of 18. So we move on. There is a 3 here and there's a 3 here. So we can cross these out and once again um, once again the 3 will go in the middle there. Now there are no more that are common to both. Um, so what we're going to do is put the remaining factors in the bits of the circles that do not overlap. So this 2 here will go in this box, in this circle here. And now we've dealt with that one, so we can cross it out. This three here will go in the 18 over here. And we've dealt with that one, so we can cross that one out. And we can always check we've got it right um, by just looking in, every, in this circle here. Three times two times three will give me 18, so we've got that right. And 12, two times two times three gives me 12, so we've got that right. Now. We're not quite finished there. What we need to do, um, we're going to find the highest common factor first. So the highest common factor of both of these numbers, all we're doing is we're multiplying everything that is in the overlap. We're multiplying all the numbers that are in the overlap. So the highest common factor of 12 and 18 is actually 2 times 3, and that gives me 6. So the highest common factor to 12 and 18 is 6. Now what we're going to do, um, if I get rid of that, there we go, um, now we're going to write, find what the lowest common multiple of both of these numbers are. So to do that, what we are doing is we multiply together all of the numbers in well, all, all of our Venn diagram. So in this case, I'm going to write 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So this gives us 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 gives me 36. So that means the lowest common multiple of 12 and 18 is 36. If you think about it, um, the highest common factor and lowest common multiple here, um, a factor is always going to be smaller than a number. So if you're coming out with the highest common factor that's bigger than both of the numbers you've been asked to find it for, um, you've gone wrong somewhere. And that's the way I remember it. A factor is, gen is generally always going to be smaller. And a multiple of a number is always going to be bigger. So you'd expect the lowest common multiple to be bigger than both of these numbers and the highest common factor to be smaller than both of these numbers. OK, I'm going to give you a few questions to try now. OK, um, so I've given you two questions here. If you want to pause the video and have a go at finding the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 18 and 24, and then do the same for 50 and 80 as well. 
and I'll give you a few seconds and then I'll give you the answers. Okay, um, so I'll give you some answers now. The highest common factor of 18 and 24, uh, the highest common factor is 6. And the lowest common multiple of both of those numbers is 72. And then for the second question, find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 50 and 80. The highest common factor of those two, sh you should have got 10 and the lowest common multiple of those two you should have got 400 okay i'll leave it there for today um, i hope that video has been useful um, if you have any other areas in math that you think um, require some work have a look at the youtube channel see if there's any other videos there that could help you but until next time thank you very much and see you later